is a, a common question that students usually have. If A, C is equal to B, C in general, can I conclude A is equal to B? The answer in general is no. We need to impose some important conditions to be able to say that this is a correct relation. So since it's a general question, I'm going to give you general matrices. Suppose matrix A is equal to following the node 1, 3, 0, 1, and your matrix B is equal to 2, 4, 2, and 3, and matrix C is equal to 1, negative 2, negative 1, and 2. So here you have different matrices, am I right? So obviously A and B are not equal to each other. I'm going to show you that AC is equal to BC. Okay. So take a look at AC. A times C, 1, 3, 0, 1, multiplied by C, which is 1, negative 2, negative 1, and 2. So obviously, we're going to take the first row and multiply by the first column. So 1 times 1, minus 3, negative 2. Then we're going to find the dot product between the first vector and the second vector down here. Get 1 times negative 2, negative 2 plus 6, which is just 4. Then we're going to move on to the second row. So you're going to take the second row and multiply by each column. 0 times 1, 0, minus 1, negative 1. Then 0 times negative 2, 0, plus 2, which is 2. So here you have AC. So this is your AC. What about BC? You're going to find the product between B and C. B is 2, 4, 2, and 3. And C is the same 1, negative 2, negative 1, and 2. This guy is equal to the same process. We're going to take the first row, multiply it by the first column. So you get 2 minus 4, which is just negative 2. And then first row multiplied by the second column, negative 4 plus 8, which is just 4. So obviously, the first two rows are the same. Now, 2 times 1, 2, minus 3, negative 1. And then 2 times negative 2, negative 4, plus 6, which is just 2. So obviously, AC and BC are the same thing. AC is equal to BC. But as you can see, we cannot conclude that we can cancel out C and C and A and B are the same. Because obviously, A and B are not the same.